I was totally planning on getting a tripod out and setting the camera up and framing things properly and then cut. So we're going to do this video with a tail occasionally popping into frame, aren't we G? And uh, yeah, I call my cat G, I also call my cat B, which is slightly more incomprehensible because the French um, letter G uh, is G, which is almost like Jessica. So it makes sense to call her G. It doesn't make sense to call her B. There is no reason to call my cat B cat, but I do. Um, she doesn't bite people anymore, you will be glad to know, Sean. For those who aren't Sean, uh, Jess wants bit Sean. Oh, she doesn't like being reminded of that. <laughs> Guess that means I can get the tripod out. There we go. So my parents have this running joke with me that every time they come up to Oxford, it snows. Apparently this also works in reverse, aka when I come down to Sussex, because you know, it's been almost coming up to spring and then suddenly, oh my god, snow! I have generally been dealing with this by staying safely in my room, uh, but then <laughs> this afternoon my dad said, let's go out for a walk. So me and mum and dad have gone out to Wakehurst Place today to go and see ducks, <laughs> mainly. Yeah, fear of ducks would be a bad thing to have at this moment. <laughs> Ornithophobia. Orn that's just birds, isn't it? Birds. It was, the, it, was, it was in the crossword the other day. Oh, was it? Well, I got that one. Oh, well done. It's nice being home. It's kind of odd this week because I've told myself I am doing nothing. You were talking about um, giving back all your books so you didn't have to travel with them. This is a bag full of books that I have for my back work, um, which obviously I'm not touching this week. I will touch it next week, go back under my desk, even down to, you know, writing fanfiction or whatever, just minimal, just relax. And I'm finding it really difficult. One of the ways I've got around this is thanks to YouTube, who have this week rolled out their um, new channel design to all channels, uh, which means you need new channel art. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have in fact changed the Friendship 2.0 channel over today, and I invented some channel art for us. But it's not really arty because it's just got, you know, our title. I actually look up there. It's just got our title and then it's got each of our names and our channel names and that. It's it's a bit boring really. Feel free to make another one. I, I don't know if you like editing images because I found out that I, I'm very good at spending lots of time editing images and not changing very much. So on my computer I now have saved six different versions of my channel art. Uh, which you can see here, spot the difference pretty much, there's not much changes in between each go. <laughs> this is a problem I have with things, I am very good at tinkering and changing small things, I am very bad at scrapping things and starting completely from scratch. This bodes badly for me potentially becoming a writer in the future because half of the struggle is realising that an idea is not any good and scrapping it. I have never scrapped a story idea. Well, I sort of have. I've got lots of documents that just never made it online, but that's only ever like a first chapter of, of something, a first few hundred words. If I've posted something, it doesn't get deleted, and this results in a minefield of unfinished stories on my fanfiction profile. Same with essays. Once I've started them and once I've sort of got going, I will never go back and think, oh shit, I've done the wrong argument, or I'd rather take this angle and just start again. I, I don't do that. Coming home feels a bit like that, like I'm only making small changes again to my life. When I uh, had to get new bed sheets this term, and I have always had cream coloured bed sheets since I, you know, was about seven, and suddenly I just had a... I could start over and like I didn't have a pillow to match or whatever, it was just let's go crazy and let's have something completely new and let's go bright pink and purple. I like doing that, so maybe I should force myself to do that more often. Obviously I can't, you know, redecorate my room. Um, also I don't need to redecorate my room, I like my room. But I think it would be a good idea for me to take forward in life. It was really nice seeing your face on my screen this week and it's very nice being home, and I'll see you soon.